Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this record we have Sheenan 151 in the tier 6 French uh, premium medium tank. It is the Britannia Panther. So, Sheenan is going to go with regular vents, regular rammer, regular rotation device over here. Um, actually, regular rounds, you know, a very uh, free to play kind of kind of loadout, which is surprising. Like, the, most of the time you just see people with only gold with bond equipment even at tier 6 um, so this is a, a very nice change of pace I should say um, yeah, Britannia Panther right this is why we're here you can actually get this vehicle for free right now during the uh, the D-Day token store event um, to get those tokens you need to just go to the command center which is um, a special website that Wargaming created I will leave a link to that down below of course and um, also collect twitch drops weekdays and weekends those are two different drops uh, so make sure you connect both weekday and weekend drops. You'll be able to get only one of the vehicles um, instead of two. So the vehicles you can get are the vehicle we see in front of us right now, the Cromwell B, the Britannia Panther that Sheenan is playing, uh, the Tiger 131, and the Tog 2. So, oh my goodness, going all in. I guess, well, this vehicle is a chunky boy, you know, with that 45 ton, tons of steel. Um, but personally, I would still go with the Cromwell B. Okay, okay. So, so let's go over some stats, right? Which vehicle do you want to get, right? Um, personally, I would recommend you go with the Cromwell B and either the Tog 2 or the Tiger 131. Tiger 131 is a very decent heavy tank, but the Tog is just amazing in terms of memeing and trolling, and, and I think everyone should have um, a Tog in their garage. But in terms of performance, the Britannia Panther is kind of like, it has the gun of a Cromwell with less DPM, slightly less, not something uh, crazy, but it is felt, it is felt definitely. It has slightly better pen on the regular rounds with 150 uh, millimeters of penetration and 194 on the premium rounds. The Cromwell has slightly better penetration on the premium rounds with 202 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the Britannia Panther has a bit more armor, but nothing too serious. Once again, it's it's just like it's not a very big difference. Like you will still get penned most of the time. You can bounce from time to time on that frontal hull, uh, but it, it's still very lightly armored. It still won't bounce too much. Uh, it's more than a Cromwell, obviously, because the Cromwell is so flat and it has no armor basically. But like the Cromwell is just okay. I just ricochet off the Cromwell then and make all of my points in Valet Shinan, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I prefer the Cromwell. Um, it is faster. It has the better DPM, which I think is just very important at the lower tiers. It, it's it's important at every tier, right? But especially at those lower tiers where um, every single shot counts over here, right? You need to do as much damage as you can and fast. There we go, shutting down the Cromwell over here. Actually shut down um, both of the Cromwells. Like one Cromwell shut down, the other was uh, was stolen, but never mind. So personally, I would go with Cromwell B rather than Britannia Panther because I just feel like this is this is a worse Cromwell, basically. It's slower as well. 55 kilometers an hour top speed, 20 reverse speed. It's not bad, don't get me wrong. This is These are not bad numbers, but the Cromwell is just better in, in almost everything, so... Um, yeah, I'd personally go with the Cromwell. If you already have the Cromwell, definitely go with the Britannia Panther. A um, very decent addition to your garage. But Cromwell B is just like a better version of this vehicle. At least in my opinion. But yeah, let me know, right? Do you actually prefer the Britannia Panther over the Cromwell? Um, are you going to get it over the Cromwell? Let me know in the comments down below, of course. But yeah, let's see what Shinano can do. In the Britannia Panther over here against the VK2801105, that 105mm is a very dangerous gun. I am unfortunately missing the VK over here. This vehicle has okay um, accuracy with 0.35 dispersion, has 2.3 second aim time. Both very decent, very good for the tier. But I think the, the biggest thing that holds this vehicle back, right, is the mobility. It's not just the top speed, it's not just the all of that stuff it's the terrain resistance this vehicle has trash terrain resistance like awful absolutely terrible 
uh, terrain resistance, and that makes this vehicle very slow on medium and soft terrains. Like on hard terrain, maybe we'll go, we'll go full speed. Oh, you do not want to get hit by an SC-100. Why? Oh my goodness. Now a one shot to basically everything over here. Like shutting down the AKV-65 over there. Um, but yeah, this vehicle will not be going fast um, on terrains that are not hard terrain, as you can see, we have roads and stuff like that. Can't get hit by the VK though. Can't get hit by the VK-32 and you don't want that, you will die, you will die, no! Luckily putting a few shots over here, that is, that is very nice. Very nice shooting, but the SC-100Y, much better to go forward, need to watch out for that. Uh, but yeah, another thing, you know, if we're already shooting at a VK, the Coppola. The Coppola is just a huge weak spot on the Britannia Panther. To get spent by basically everything. Um, which is another thing that, you know, I prefer the Chrome that doesn't have the Coppola, sure it does have. A quite large turret. Oh my goodness. Luckily, tracking the SC100Y. Don't let that SC100Y shoot you over here. Definitely don't want that. But there we go. Catching the side of the SU. Finishing them off. Securing the fourth kill over here. Whew. Breathe, right? Breathe a bit. But yeah, this vehicle just feels like a, a worse chrono, in my opinion. Not as fast. Doesn't have that DPM. Um, like I said, it has a bit more armor than a Cromwell. It has slightly better V-range with 370 instead of 360 base V-range. But everything else, very similar. The dispersion is similar. The aim time is similar. So, I guess I guess it's up to you, right? To decide if you prefer that mobility, uh, the extra DPM. Or are you okay with just having kind of... I'd say mediocre mobility, but it's not bad when it's on hard terrain, right? It's not bad. Um, but slightly better armor on your vehicles. Personally, I just love the Cromwell. I love the entire British medium line, so I guess I'm a bit biased. Like, Cromwell, Comet, absolutely amazing. Uh, Centurion 1, kind of an outlier, not the best. 7-1, Centurion Action 10, absolutely amazing line, and I definitely recommend going uh, to that line. Okay, yes, stay stay on 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 topic, Bearfish. We're here for the Britannia Panther, not your British medium line. I uh, actually made a few videos about the British medium line, that's how much I like that line. But anyway, going back, you know, to the British medium line, no! No! It's Shinano and the Britannia Panther over here. In a... Uh, 6v5. It's a very close game over here, even though they're down by 2000 HP, but, you know, that's kind of a lying because some of the vehicles are outside of the render range, and that means that you will not know their HP until they are going back into the render range. But there we go. Even though this vehicle, like I said, has slightly worse DPM, it's still great. Just look at this. Just look at this. Melting that VK-31P. That is six. German heavy tank. Switching to Gorons, actually, I forgot to mention. Um, to just secure those shots. That's something I do as well. When it's a really close game, um, and I feel like I really want to secure the win, right? I will switch to Gorons, even though you can pin with regular rounds. You just don't want RNG to take away uh, your win, right? So that is something I do as well. That's something I recommend everyone to do. If you want to maximize your wins, I guess. But yes, Shinano over here. Five kills, 3,400 damage, which is an amazing game for a tier 6. But it's still not over. Still four enemy vehicles left on the enemy team that go one to the M6, which is probably the best tier 6 vehicle at the moment. That vehicle is absolutely ridiculous in its current form. Amazing turret armor. Um, great DPM. It's just it's just broken. I, I'd say it's just broken at the moment. So if there are any new players out there who want to go through a, like a specific line, thinking which line you want first, g go get the M6, right? And the British Medium Line. Anyway, my goodness, going back to my British Medium Line. No batfish. The Achilles over here trying to one-shot the Achilles. He didn't need a slight high roll to finish off this tier 6. Unfortunately, not catching him. We're catching but not getting a high roll, but it doesn't matter because the Raider Fire is going to have to put a second shot in. And now it's just a matter of pushing forwards and securing the kills against the M6 and the M4A3 E8 Easy 8. Which are really good games so far by Shino with 6 kills, 3700 damage. It's, it's still not over, I guess. That Easy 8 is putting up a fight with that dab gun. But the M6 is over here. Need to watch out here. One shot. You are a one shot. You don't want. I don't want to, to die to the M6 over here. The Hellcat is going to shoot him in the back, so just wait for a few seconds. Just wait for a few seconds. And there we go. The Hellcat shuts down the M6. 
and this is basically game over. That M6 was the only, uh, the only chance that the enemy team has, and now it's only the EC8 against five vehicles over here, with with a derp gun, right? So it's it's not going to work too well. But it actually almost finishes off the Hellcat with that derp gun. There's that EC8. One to the back, so I need to put two more, two more shells to finish off the EC8. One, and did it just fire into the wall? Uh, seems like the Easy Age gave up on life and fired into the wall. Um, but yeah, there we go. Shell securing the seventh kill of this battle. 4,000 damage. And just, you know, showing you that the Britannia Panther, even though, in my opinion, right, it is not as good as the Cromwell B, it is still a very, very decent choice uh, to take to make. So, yeah, amazing game. Shell and Absolutely lovely stuff, winning them against the mediums, pushing forwards, as you should. Um, yeah, let's go check how amazing this game was in the post-game stats. There we go, easy ace tanker for the 1865 base XP under here. A very nice amount of ribbons over here. A tank sniper um, for causing the highest damage from a distance of at least 300 meters. A high caliber for the 4278 damage and a top gun for at least 6 kills in this case. seven. Finishing first on basically everything over here with 44 shots fired, 39 hit, which is amazing, and 34 penetrated. Um, there we go, 4,278 damage, 1,122 from a distance of more than 300 meters. Six hits received, four pen, two did not pen. So like I said, don't expect this vehicle to bounce too much. It does have more armor than a chroma, like I said, but... It's it's still very lightly armored. It will still get penned by most, if not all, vehicles. Um, in most, if not all areas of the vehicle. And as you can see, only 75 damage blocked by the armor, actually. Probably absorbing with the track another shot. Um, two vehicles spotted. 286 damage caused with player's assistance. 12 vehicles damaged. Seven of those subsequently destroyed in this 10-minute battle. Three kilometers traveled. A very nice amount of credits received over here, but that is with... Uh, missions that gave 150,000 of those credits. Uh, but even without, you know, the 150,000, it's still almost 100,000 credits for this battle, which is always nice for a tier 6 vehicle. Um, but yeah, I guess that's that's basically it. Britannia Panther people, are you going to get this vehicle? Um, personally, I will actually be getting this vehicle and the Chromal B because I already have the Tiger 1 through 1 and the Tog. But if I didn't have the Tiger 1 through 1 and the Tog, this would actually be my last choice. If I'm being honest, like, I'd go uh, Cromwell B, Tog, Tiger 1 through 1, and Britannia Panther. That is probably my recommended order to everyone out there. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments your thoughts, your opinions, which vehicles are going to take. Let me know all of that. And uh, yeah, I guess this is it for this video. But before we go, I'm actually going to do um, a birthday giveaway stream on Twitch, over on Twitch on Sunday, June 16th, going to start at 9 Central European time, uh, 9 a.m. of course, Central European time, and uh, we'll be giving away some gold, we'll be giving away some stuff for Genshin Impact, I'm going to have a pretty long stream as well, so yeah, everyone is welcome, you can see all of the details right here, yes, edit stuff, Bafish, you silly sausage, you, <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is it for this video, so as usual, thank you so much for watching, you're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tell us people have a good one.